All right, welcome to Engine, everybody. Today, we are really excited to have Diana with us on our podcast. Uh, if you could briefly introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. My name is Diana. I am 16 years old, originally from Odessa, Ukraine. Currently, I live in Germany. I'm senior in my high school, and I'm with Engine since the summer of 2020. And I'm here to tell you about my experience. Nice. We are stoked to have you. So how did you even find out about Engine in the first place? Um, when it was pandemic, I was desperate for something new. And my teacher sent us to my class the link to English program. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, I wanted to learn a new language. So I immediately clicked on it. I filled out the application form and it went great. Um, after a week, I got my volunteer. She was from Odessa as well, mm -hmm. because my level at that time wasn't as good to speak with a native speaker. And that's what I love about Engine, because you can actually ask something about like translation at your first steps. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you mentioned to me earlier that uh, you met your volunteer actually through group sessions. Is that correct? Yes. Um, my current volunteer. Mm -hmm. Um, I met her through a group session because my previous volunteer told me that she cannot participate in Engine anymore. And while Engine was looking for a new volunteer, I found Isabella. Um, there was an education meeting, like we were talking about our future and we found out that we have the same dream school. So oh. we connected through Instagram. And after that, she told me I can be a volunteer. Nice. Uh, what, what grade are you in right now? 11th 11th grade so what is your dream school if it's not a secret um at that time it was Yale but currently it's Harvard mm -hmm. I'm still working on the application this year didn't work out but I hope next year will be great mm -hmm. so so far considering your experience with engine would you say it has helped you um reach any of your goals it did big time and I don't think that any of it would be here if I wouldn't join Engine because after studying with grammar books with the tutor for years, I just couldn't reach that level uh, because it was boring, because it was hard and you have to memorize a lot, which I hate doing. Um, but with Engine, it was like this, you know, I just started and I was talking with different people all around the world. It was interesting. Uh, at that time, I just got more inspiration to learn more. So I started watching TV shows. I was looking at my social media in English. I set my phone in English. So it was it was perfect. And in one year, I already went from A2 to C1. So it was a great experience and I'm really oh. grateful for it. Yeah, that's a huge leap from A2 to C1. So well, I got you... inspired. Yeah, how do you even like feel the difference? Like where can you see the differences? Um, actually in every area of English. So speaking, grammar, listening. Mm -hmm. Listening was my nightmare before, but now I'm just like the best at it. Um, and usually I take my old English messages that I was sending to someone and I see the difference in grammar or in structure of the sentences. Right now it's all automatic, but back that time it was really, really not good. Mm, I see. So if you could maybe name, uh, I don't know, the most memorable moment that you had with your engine volunteer? Um. Probably when I decided to apply to Yale Summer Program. Mm -hmm. um, my volunteer, she helped me a lot with it. She helped me with my essay. She was reviewing it, maybe correcting it at some time. And of course, everything that she was correcting, I remember now. So I won't make this mistake again. And the day when I was like, oh, I got in. And it was really unexpected because it was with a full ride. And I knew that something will change now. Yeah, so thank you so much for coming to this podcast and we hope to speak to you again soon. Yeah, thank you so much for having me.